Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. You are welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy with Heaven. Today I will discuss about proton pump inhibitor, especially pantoprazole. I will explain about pharmacokinetics, mechanism of action, indication, contraindication, adverse drug reaction, drug interaction, and precursion to be taken for pantoprazole in detail. So let's start our video with history and some generic name of pantoprazole. Omeprazole was the first drug in the class of pantoprazole introduced in 1989. After omeprazole, lansoprazole was discovered in 1995, whereas raviprazole was found in 1999. Pantoprazole was in 2080 and ismoprazole in 2001. Ismoprazole is a new molecule in proton pump inhibitors. There are around 165 different brands available in India. So I have included some examples which are available in India. Some brands are Pantop which is available in 40 mg in tablet as well as injection doses form. Pantotab, Jobhanta, Pantocare, Pantosec and Nexpan. Next band is available in 20 mg in tablet as well as injection doses form. There are lots of other brands available in our country, but I have mentioned some top brands available in market. Now we'll read the pharmacokinetics of pantoprazole. Pantoprazole is absorbed from small intestine and it has 77% of absolute bioavailability. The rate of degradation increases with decreasing in pH. That is, if the gastric pH is decreased, it, if it becomes more acidic, the chances of degradation of pantoprazole will be greater. And the rate of absorption is also decreased by concomitant use of food. If we will take food, then pH of stomach will increase. Enteric coated tablet will release in stomach which is not absorbed from our stomach. 98% of pantoprazole is bound to serum protein because of which pantoprazole stays for a longer time in our blood. The half-life is approximately 2.8 hours at PS5, whereas it increases by increasing in PS to 7.8 by 20 hours. It is extensively metabolized in liver, so the dose of Pantoprazole should be decreased in severe liver cirrhosis patient. Almost 80% of an oral or intravenous dose is excreted as metabolites in urine. They covalently bind to the pump. The half-life of their inhibition of gastric acid secretion lasts on estimated around 24 hours. The mechanism of action of pantoprazole is it inhibits the Final stage in gastric acid production by forming a covalent bond, strongest bond to two sites of hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme system at the secretory surface of the gastric parietal cell. This effect is dose related. That is, if the dose is increased, the effect will also increase and leads to inhibition of both basal and stimulated gastric acid secretion irrespective of the stimulus. You can better understand mechanism of action of pantoprazole by watching this animated video. Parietal cell is present in our stomach and it gets activated with gastrin, histamine and acetylcholine. First carbon dioxide and water molecule binds to each other and then they dissociate into hydrogen and SU3- ions. Thus formed SU3- get exchanged with chloride ion having negative charge on SU3. Chloride binds with potassium and get out in the lumen. By the activation of ion channel at ATP present in parietal cell causes exchange of hydrogen and potassium ion. Thus hydrogen and chloride combines to form hydrochloric acid. 
Pantoprazole is proton pump inhibitor at the pH less than 5 and binds covalently to hydrogen potassium ATPase enzyme and inactivates it irreversibly. It binds tightly with the formation of covalent bond and stops the acid secretion. Acid secretion resumes only when new hydrogen, potassium and ATPase molecules are synthesized. The reactivation half-life is 18 to 20 hours. Now we will learn some condition in which pantoprazole is prescribed that is indications for pantoprazole. First one is gastroesophageal reflux disease. It is also known as GERD in short form which is digestive disease in which stomach acid or bile irritates the food pipe lining that is esophagus. Second one is peptic ulcer and third one is as you already know NSAID causes gastritis or hyperacidity in our stomach. So for preventive action of gastritis pantoprazole is prescribed along with NSAIDs. Pantoprazole is a safe drug. It is contraindicated to the patient which is hypersensitive to proton pump inhibitors and the daily dose should not exceed 20 mg in patient with severe hepatic impairment as I mentioned before. Doses. Pantoprazole tablet is available in 20 mg and 40 mg tablets. It should be taken in one tablet daily in empty stomach mainly on the patient having GERD, peptic ulcer and NSAID induced gastritis. 40 mg injection of pantoprazole is available which should be administered slowly over 2 to 15 minutes. It can also be mixed with some IV solutions such as normal saline, ringer lactate, dextrose and given over with slow infusion. Some common adverse effect that is nausea, loose stool, abdominal pain, muscle and joint pain and dizziness is seen only in 3 to 5 percent of patients using pantoprazole and the pantoprazole may increase risk for bone fracture especially if it is taken for a long time in higher doses in elderly patients. Some drug interactions are there. If antacid and pantoprazole are taken together, antacid will increase the gastric pH which leads to degradation of pantoprazole and it cannot get absorbed in our body. Next is increases in gastric pH may alter the absorption of weak acids or base. They may inhibit the absorption of drugs such as Grisofulvin, ketoconazole, itraconazole, iron salts, vitamin B12, cefaloxin and inoxacin and it may result in clinical treatment failure because of improper absorption of drug in our systemic circulation. Some precautions should be taken while administering pantoprazole. Pantoprazole is available in enteric coated tablet that is it is protected from the gastric environment that is from low pH. So it should not be chewed or crushed while taking. If we will chew pantoprazole tablet while taking, molecule of pantoprazole will degrade. Pantoprazole tab should be taken 30 to 60 minutes before meal. Thank you for watching this friends. If you think this video was important for you, please don't forget to like and share with your friends. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon so that you can get notification for my new upcoming video. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep watching, be updated. Thank you friends.